welcome back. Things are not the same as before. Levels have changed now. You know, fate hold me again because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Put some respect on my name. I'm a YouTuber. Officially have 1,000 subscribers. Do you know what that means? It means I have made it in life. I have blown. Wow, like, I'm not on the same pedestal you're like, it's a new level. <laughs> and that's why you can notice that this is a different setup from my regular setup for videos. Basically, what I'm trying to say is thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for being a part of my community. Thank you for making me realize that people actually want to hear all of the nonsense i have to say and all of the, the things i say that make sense thank you really for being a part of my community i really really appreciate it you're the real mvp thank you thank you thank you you need to grab a seat for this one because i have some juicy stories to share with you so grab a seat grab a bowl of popcorn and let's get started on the story <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing anyway so this video has been highly requested a lot of people have been like oh chidera when are you gonna let us know what's happening in your love life because you uploaded a video about your dating experience and you said you were going to upload another one so <laughs> i love you down to that bro cool you want to know what chidera is and you want to know if i'm single and mingling <laughs> let me know if you've been on dating apps and how your experience has been to be honest i would really love to read what your experience has been drop a comment down below because i know some people meet their spouses on dating apps on this video i'll be sharing my experience on the dating app known as hinge so hinge is just a dating app like tinder where you meet people for dating reasons something about the app that just makes it feel like oh this is serious business like you genuinely would want to know somebody do you get what i mean i don't know how to explain it some things are beyond me anyway <laughs> of course i've met a couple of people on the app and but i think by the end of april i deleted the app and you know just decided i'm done with the online dating life because it's not for me and yes you read the title right i met the one <laughs> but you have to stick through till the end of this video to find out what happened so let's get right into it. Enough of all the yapping, yapping and the talking. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so the very first person that I met on the app, he's Nigerian. Okay, yes. Yes, I have a bias for Nigerians. I don't know why. So far, he's one of the nicest persons I've ever met on a dating platform. When we got talking, it was cool. We were vibing and all. But it just became clear to the both of us that the kind of vibe that was between the both of us was not like romantic. It wasn't in that sense of, oh, let's date. It was more like, he was like my uncle and I'm like his niece. I know it's strange, but that was literally how it felt. He's, he's in his 30s. He's like 35 or 34. Now, while I don't have anything against like dating people who are much older, I, I think I can actually date people who are much older. Like I'm fine with it. But with him, that was just the vibe. It was more like, oh, he's my uncle, and then I'm this little niece who he's he feels he has to guide through life. He wanted me to like maximize the opportunities of the UK system, like living here. You know, he was always telling me about opportunities I could access and all of that. So, for example, my phone. We got talking one time, and then he's like, oh, do I have phone insurance? And I'm like, what is phone insurance? <laughs> I should be paying people money for phone that will not break. It's not until he break. So he talked me through it and I'm like, see, there's no way on earth that I'm going to be paying people for my phone, like paying monthly for a phone. So he's like, okay, you know what? Don't worry. And then he paid for my phone insurance. At that point, I was like, <laughs> because you know, generally when people are nice to you, they're expecting something in return. So I did not want us to have like mixed expectations. And I told him, see, I, I appreciate you being nice and looking out for me, but I want to be clear so we don't have any mixed expectations. Eventually I realized that is just how he is. He's like this kind of person that is just nice for the sake of it. And not the kind of people that are nice to you because they're expecting something in return. So, and some days too that I would go for a walk or I'll go to a grocery shop and maybe we're chatting in the process. And then I tell him, oh, I'm walking home. And he'll be like, why are you working home? So he's sort of like an ajebo. So he will like order Uber for me. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> All this niceness <laughs> like i can't have any concerns about how nice he was 
but over time i just knew it is who he is and it is what it is i'll tell you what happened with this but let's move to the second person i met when i say met i mean like the people i chatted with intentionally like who i spoke with for a long time so hey my back is hot mm. my back or what i do now okay mm -hmm. Yeah, that's much better. My back was hurting. The second person I met on the app was an Indian guy. Like, this guy was so fine. He was so fine. And then I even sent his picture to a friend of mine because it was really cute. And we were talking. But in the process of, you know, getting to know each other, he mentions, okay, what am I looking for on the app? And I'm like, to be honest, I don't know. I, I just, you know, went on the app because that's where my friend said I could meet people. And he's like, well, him, he's not here for... A serious relationship he's not even looking to date he's just looking to hook up with people but by hook up i mean like casual you know i was like am i down with that and i'm like no nah, i'm not sorry so you know the conversation ended and then he unmatched me so when you unmatch with someone you basically delete the conversation like the person cannot find you cannot find the person so we unmatched and that was that the third person that i met i've never met anybody from this particular country until i met him um, he's from gambia um i do not even know where gambia was on the map i had to literally look for it when i started talking <laughs> with him and he's also um like a student at brighton brighton is also down here in the south of the uk so it's not like really really far from where i stay and then we got talking during the whole lockdown period that was like that april time during the whole lockdown and he kept insisting that he wanted to see me and i'm like how do you want to see me during the lockdown first of all the trains are not working how are you going to get here like how he said he had a car so he could drive down he did not have to use public transport and all but i'm like yeah but this might just stop you on the road and then and then you get into a lot of trouble and all of that but he just kept insisting that we see and i'm like <laughs> there's no way i'm seeing somebody during the whole pandemic and i was also thinking what if he's infected i'm just saying you know because everybody you have to look out for yourself and besides even if he comes to see me because public places were closed like eateries shops everything restaurants they were all closed so if he's coming then he's coming directly to my house and i'm like nope i'm not having that so i kept stalling and i just told him eventually see i'm not interested in seeing you because i do not know how else to say it i'm like i'm not interested in seeing you like we can just keep talking and if that doesn't work for you at this point in time feel free to bounce <laughs> that's so mean Chidera. after all of that i think he just laid low for a while and he stopped you know talking to me and all and i'm like yo that's weird i left the best for last juice of the story this is it so the next and the last person that i met on the app before i decided to you know call it quits is um, a guy from sierra leone oh god i'm just touring the world he got talking and one thing i like i like it when people reply my text immediately I, so he's the type of person that when you text him he's like he's replying or that was what it felt like at the beginning <laughs> so um eventually we took it off the platform so we, we started calling each other we started talking to each other and it was really good um getting to know him and all okay here's something that is coming to my mind so he has he has a bunch of tattoos on his body and the thing is um before coming to the uk i won't even lie i had always been of the opinion that tattoos were like i just found them very off-putting it's not like i had anything against it but also my environment had, had also conditioned me to see tattoos in a very it was like well, i'm not really sure if you should have tattoos like should i associate with people that have tattoos but he had tattoos and <laughs> it's funny I, I i related with him and all it's just funny how my mind has expanded like the openness of my mind like my mind is much more open to a lot of things now so basically that's by the way the first time i saw him was on my birthday and then he came around and you know, brought me uh, a present for my birthday which i thought was really really nice you know we kept vibing we kept talking okay by the end of the month of april i just I, I was feeling very overwhelmed basically i was unsure of a lot of things and i needed to find clarity so i decided to take one month break off social media that is for the whole of me so i could you know find clarity for a lot of things and just get answers to my questions like i needed to just spend time listening to myself listening to god and just you know being in that space and not be distracted by anything um for me being in a relationship it's it's not something I'm, i want to do casually and it's not something i'm just doing for the sake of it if i want to be in a relationship right now i think it's something that should be heading towards a goal even if we won't get there at the end but like the goal is like we might get married so it's not something i want to do casually 
So the way it, it, it seemed, it looked like, oh, we're about to take it to the next level, like, which is like make it official and become proper boyfriend and girlfriend. I just needed to find clarity to be sure that going into that relationship would be the right thing for me because I don't have time to be wasting time. I got praying about it. My time, I just told God, I'm like, if this is not it, just stop it now. Like, just stop it now before it gets to the point where, you know, emotions are in are involved it becomes very hurtful and all and i'm just like god please whatever it is if he's not the one if this is not meant to be nip it nip it in the bud stop it now yes it will hurt me but do the needful okay so also the nigerian guy for some weird reason during this whole time of my clarity he also stopped talking to me till today i don't know what happened and i don't know why but i've not spoken to him in months it's just it just happened like we just stopped talking no hard feelings no beef nothing we just stopped talking i don't know how why but one of the days during this whole period the sierra leone guy calls me and he's like yo we need to talk and it was weird because i knew what he wanted to say you know when you know something like because i knew i had spent a lot of time like you know just thinking about things and praying about it and all and he was like, yo, we need to talk. <laughs> he told me that he thinks we need to stop being so close because we had different plans in life and we're looking at different things. And at the end of the day, it might not work out. So instead of us to get, you know, so deep into this, that when it's time to separate, it becomes very hurtful, that let's stop it now. And in my head, I'm just like, God, I know you answer prayers, but this was too direct, like... Like, it hurts me that he was saying that because, like, this was someone I felt like I was genuinely beginning to like. Like, like, like. So, <laughs> because I already knew, I had this peace about it in my heart. I'm just like, yeah, it's fine. I think what you said is the right thing. Does this mean that we'd have to stop talking to each other, like, totally? And I'm like, I don't think so. I think we can talk every now and then. Like, we can still be friends because technically we did not date. We're just in the process of getting, of making it official, which we did not. So it, it shouldn't be awkward and all. So and that was that that was that and we just started talking every once in like two weeks or once in a week and stuff and so fast forward to a couple of weeks ago we got talking and then we we're like oh we should see you know we should hang out maybe we should go to the park just he stays in london by the way that um we should go to the park and hang out or something and then he's like well he feels he needs to let me know something and i'm like what's up and he's like, um, he's already seen someone. He has a girlfriend. It hurts. I don't know why, but it hurts. Even though I knew, yeah, we're not dating. We're friends now and everything. No, it just hurt a little bit. Just, just a little bit. It hurt. It did. But I'm fine. <laughs> I'm good. We move. We look mood. That's that. I'm still single. <laughs> That's just the conclusion of the Mara. I am still very much single. We've come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this story time, please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'm at a point right now where I just feel that online dating and all of that stuff, like, I don't think it's for me. I think I'm the very traditional, you meet somebody on the street kind of person, or you meet somebody at an occasion, or you meet somebody in a community or a clique of friends or a circle of friends or something. But I just feel like there has to be a platform that will connect me to somebody because this online thing hasn't worked for me so far so let me know what you think until next time thank you so much for watching <laughs>